Oh, okay, that's it. No, I can't, I can't do it. That's a fail. Yo, what is up guys? So we are here in Toronto, Canada, all right? It's like the, the fifth stop or something like that on our influencer domination tour, going around the world, man, teaching people how to become influencers. So we have that later today, but first, we're gonna get a workout in. Man, I don't mean to make excuses, guys, but since we're in Toronto, I was gonna have like an epic vlog plan, man. Like I was gonna ride moose like through the snow, but apparently, man, it, it, it doesn't always snow in Canada. So we're gonna have to think of something else, man. But the good news is that because it's not too cold, I think that means that I have to take off my shirt and do something fun with the ladies. So we'll think of something to do later, but first, gonna go get a leg workout in. All right, get that pump in before the influencer domination event. So let's get it, guys. So what's up, buddy? You ready to make some gains, buddy? All right, man, that's like, that's like 2K for that shout out, all right? All right, guys, so normally I'd probably be hitting the chest right now. All right, I'm not saying that I like skip leg day, but you know, if there's an excuse like everyone else is hitting chest today, I'd probably take that excuse and hit chest. But, bro, it's Canada Man, and I've been looking around, and everyone has giant legs. I think it's because they play hockey all the time. <laughs> So everyone has like giant legs here and it's kind of like intimidating me. So we're gonna do a hardcore leg workout today. And guys, you're gonna wanna watch this one because I actually might give you guys a leg physique update. And I, guys, I like never show my legs. And actually, I'll explain to you guys why. So yo, make sure you watch this workout till the end. Wait a minute, bro. Dude, are these pounds or kilograms? Bro, Canada's confusing, man. This is really good. Are these pounds or kilograms? I need to know, are these pounds or kilograms, man? I found out they're pounds. They're pounds. Bro, check this out. So in Canada, man, they have pounds and look it, they have kilograms too, bro. Canada, man, the best of both worlds. London, they only have kilograms. The US, they only have pounds, but here they give you the option. That's what I love, man, options. Make sure I flex the tricep. Ah, just zoom in on the tricep, bro. You know, man, there's just something like kind of girly about the hamstring curls when you like lay down. I feel like this is like the girl's one, and then the one where you sit down is the guy's one. Is that weird? Like, is that weird that I think that this is like really, really girly, man? You guys are lucky because you guys get to see some like aesthetic booty shots now, so I. Call me and I could get it juicy. I could tell you gone off the doors. Oh, yeah, yeah. Careful, mama, why what you say? You, say. you talking to me like your new babe. It's not a stringer if your nipple doesn't show, bro. It's not a stringer. Remember that. It's not a it's not a stringer if your nipple doesn't show. All right, guys, so I get this question all the time. Some people are hating and some people are serious, man. They're wondering why I never show my legs. Are you ready for the honest answer? Bro, it's just like no one no one cares about legs. You definitely don't want to have like toothpick legs because that's, that's weird. Like, okay, now you take your pants off in front of a girl and you have like little toothpick legs. Yeah, that's going to be weird, man. But like in Instagram pictures, I just never really show my legs because it's not interesting. Like if I if I do a picture with legs, it's just not gonna get any likes. I do work out legs so I don't look like weird, but you know, that's why I don't focus on them like too hard. Cause just no one, no one cares about them that much, but I do work them out. Like it's not like they're so small. That's why I like never post them on Instagram. So I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna give you guys a treat today. All right, and I'm gonna show you the legs. All right, they're nothing special, but like, give them what they want, man. Let's let's show them the legs. All right, ready? He, he, look, everyone's excited. There are crowds gathering around for this moment, bro. <laughs> The calves do suck though, but that's just genetics. I can't can't do anything about that. They're, they're just not very aesthetic legs, but 
they're like within decent proportion to the rest of my body, I would say. Wouldn't you agree, Mike? I would. I think in proportion to the rest of your body, they're nice, but you know, they could be a little more so. I appreciate it, Mike. Hopefully not too many people are watching and they're just skipping straight to the part where girls beat me with a hockey stick. All right, guys, so because this is a fasted workout, like I make sure to have like BCAs, usually beforehand and afterwards, but I got so caught up in making this amazing vlog that I didn't take my BCAs beforehand, so I'm just taking them like all at once in the middle of the workout. Usually I take like 10 grams before and 10 after. Just got 20 grams in here, man. It's gonna taste so good because it's gonna be like so concentrated. But yeah, man, just kind of helps prevent muscle breakdown, especially when you're fasted, so good stuff, bro, good stuff. Bro, look at what I just found. This is what Canada means to me. All right, guys, so we just got done with an intense workout. We're on our way to the influencer domination event where I share all my social media secrets of how I grew so fast. You know, a lot of people think it was like all luck, which is partly true. There is a formula we kind of use for YouTube. A lot of tips and tricks we learned. I actually, you know, had people from YouTube reach out to me and, and help me and, you know, taught me about how the algorithm works. I'm ready to share like a ton of value with these people. See you guys there. <laughs> So now we're here at Walmart, man. We gotta get some food. But since we're in Canada, I figured I should try out the Canadian diet. And in fact, it's not my choice. Like literally, all they have at Walmart is Canadian bacon and maple syrup. Like in the whole store, that's all they have. In fact, we're getting some Canadian bacon right here. It's not even called Canadian bacon, and it's called back bacon. It's just like regular bacon here. This bacon is like 10 times leaner than America. Canadian bacon, man, that's our source of protein. Now, we gotta go get some maple syrup as our carb source. Mm, all right guys, so we found the maple syrup. It wasn't that hard. It's just there's there's a lot of it man There is a lot of options, but bro seriously So just maple syrup and Canadian bacon could actually like fit my macros perfectly All right, cuz there's just a little bit of fat in Canadian bacon But not a lot and if I just pour maple syrup on it a lot of carbs in here And I could seriously fit my macros perfectly just with Canadian bacon and maple syrup But we're, we're actually not gonna do that. We're actually going to buffet later to have an epic cheat meal, but I don't know, maybe tomorrow I'll eat as a Canadian with just Canadian bacon and maple syrup, but we'll see. I think a red one would work for the camera. Blue is like Canadian too. When in Canada, you need a hockey stick. We have something epic planned with this later. It's gonna be very entertaining. Stay tuned. All right guys, so we are here at this beautiful park, man. And I think I, think I have a decent idea of how to pick up some Canadian girls, right? Obviously it involves me being shirtless. It involves a hockey stick. All right, we gotta have the Canada theme today. And actually I am here with the best dating coach in Canada, Mo. Yo, Mo's been awesome, man. He's been driving us around. He's been helping us out. You know, we've been getting to know Toronto because of him. So man, um, he's gonna be helping me today because guys, honestly, um, like on camera, I can act pretty confident, but on the inside, man, when I go and approach girls, I get nervous just like everyone else, you know? Um, it might not appear that way on camera, but on the inside, man, I'm an introverted, shy guy, so so I'm about to go approach some girls, but I'm nervous, man. So, yo, <laughs> do you have any? I'll and, help and you out. I'll help you out. And, guys, like, this is, this is serious. Like, I'm serious. I'm not joking around. Like, I get nervous just like everyone else. I really don't have that much game. When you have aesthetics, man, it's kind of like a cheat code. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, but I would still like, like to learn a little bit. So, yo, Mo, give me some advice on, like, just, uh, like, I'm nervous, man. Uh, how do I like how do I approach these girls to be in our video? You know. Okay, so the first thing is be okay with the nervousness. Okay. A lot of guys try to get rid of it. Just accept it. But the more um, there's a good quote: "Whatever you resist persists." Mm. Right. So if you keep resisting it, then it's just gonna you're gonna get more and more and more nervous. Okay. But you have to like just be okay with the nervousness. Realize that like you can't be perfect. That's a big one. A lot of guys mm. try to be perfect. Right. Um, they're like, "How do I approach to make it like smooth and make her like me?" And that. But put yourself in a place of vulnerability where you're willing to fuck up. I got you. Hell yeah, man. Yo, make sure to go follow Mo on all his social media, man. He's actually like he's seriously a professional dating coach. Like he does this for a living. You know. He has a bunch of social media, so that'll be somewhere around here, Harry, or like in the description <laughs> or somewhere. All right, Mo, so after I approach these girls and, you know, they want to be in my video, how should I go about, you know, picking them up? Connor, the first thing you need to do is just simply take off your shirt. All right, guys, so 
I did have an idea that's a little better than a hockey stick. I was gonna have girls lick maple syrup off of me. That might seem a little cooler, but last time I did that on 6th Street, YouTube kind of demonetized my video. Try to keep it family friendly, so unfortunately, I have to go through a little bit more pain today. But it's worth it, man. Anything for the views, so let's get it. All right, guys, so we're here with... That is that. So, so you're from Canada, right? That's right. Are Canadian girls any different? Do they like like different stuff about guys? Like, what do you like about guys? A sense of humor. Does the, the physique <laughs> it impact it at all? I don't know. Funny. <laughs> Funny? I'm screwed, man. I don't I don't have anything but the, the, the physique going on. You got like the tall, dark, and handsome. For sure, yeah. For sure? Yeah. Does the body help at all? Well, of course, that's a plus. How about I let you hit me with this hockey stick like, in the ass? Like if you hit me three times without me like tapping out, without me like crying, then I get your number. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's it. No, I can't, I can't do it. That's a fail. Oh, okay, take it. All right, you can, you can do it harder than that. Oh, I think I took it. I didn't it. want to do it harder that time. All right, cool. No, because you wanted my number, right? <laughs> Bros, look at this. This is, it's in the shape of the hockey stick. Oh my gosh, man. Look how red it is. Oh, I have to take my shoe off, by the way. Oh. Oh, oh no, I feel so bad. <laughs> oh my oh, no. god. You're going to feel even worse, because now, now you have to give me your number. Oh, All right, any last minute advice, ma'am? All you got to do is go up, um, just be friendly, just say like, hey, I'm from this place, da da da, I don't know this place too much. Yeah. And uh, yeah, go. Oh, they're, they're leaving, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh. 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 That wasn't even that hard, I think. I'm scared. I think, no, you just, you just want my number, I think. Right. Go for it. All right, perfect. All right, Mo. From your expert opinion, how, how did I do? Listen, you took some beatings today, you took some shots, literally, <laughs> and you are now officially a pimp. Hell yeah, I appreciate it, Mo. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yo, look at this, no look at the end result. Yeah, straight up bruises. <laughs> I'm gonna have bruises tomorrow, bros. I think, I think I did a decent job. I say, I say we go get an epic cheat meal. I need to reward myself, man. I think now it's time for an epic cheat meal here in Toronto. Uh, I'll, I'll meet you guys over there. I don't know what we're gonna eat, but it's gonna be good and it's gonna be a lot of it, so see you guys over there. Yo, what up guys? So we're, we're out here in Toronto, right? I don't have any cameramen. I was not gonna put out a video Monday, but because of Harry right here, he filmed and edited this vlog in one day. All right, so that was epic of a man. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Harry. So yo, go follow this guy on Instagram, man. He's an amazing editor. If you guys need like, uh, you know, any videos filmed, you know, find this guy. All right, man. Hell yeah. Let's go get something to eat, bros. Something to eat. All right. All right, guys, so we're here at the Mandarin Buffet. We got some crazy Chinese food, sushi, like my favorite, man. So basically, I decided that I'm gonna try and do a cheat meal every week. All right, so the idea behind a cheat meal is, on the one hand, you're probably gonna gain some fat that day, but on the other hand, you know, when you're in a cut, your, your hormones get low, leptin levels get low, so when you, when you have a cheat day, you know, it spikes those, it increases your metabolism, so you'll probably burn more fat throughout the rest of the week. So which one of those will outweigh the other, I don't know. I'm gonna test it for a few weeks, but I also gotta weigh in the, the fact that this cheat meal is about to be epic, and I absolutely love cheat meals, so I'll show you guys what I get. Hopefully you guys don't get too hungry, but uh, yeah, let's get it, guys. Time to eat about a thousand of these things. Only five calories, man. Alright guys, so I know it's 
it's a cheat meal, but you know, I still want to make it healthy. You know, I don't want to have like an unhealthy cheat meal, so. A very aesthetic individual. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. We are back at the Airbnb. I'm about to go to sleep. We're about to get a workout in the morning and then head back to Los Angeles. But uh, yo, thank you for watching so much. Um, if you liked watching me eat all that food, I've been liking it too. So I've been thinking of possibly doing like a 10K calorie challenge or even like a, I don't want to get too confident, but I might do like a 30K calorie challenge. I have a big appetite, guys. I think I think I could do it if I started like at 12 o'clock midnight and went to, you know, the whole 24 hours. But anyway, let me know what you guys want to see if you guys want to see something like that. I love you guys. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>